Good afternoon uh, to our viewing audience. Millions of you from around the world have joined us here in our beautiful studio in Folsom, California. I'm Evan Vischer, and we have invited with us today two missionaries of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And they, on your left is Elder Young, and on your right is Elder Wood. And we appreciate you, brethren. Thanks for coming and taking your valuable time to interview with us. Our studio is in the gorgeous uh, surroundings of the forest here in uh, California. We're just surrounded by forest in all direction. And we actually moved our, our studio equipment out to this uh, outside so we could have this experience of shooting out here. So we will start with tonight uh, Elder Wood and ask him a few questions about himself and his mission and so on. So Elder Wood, thank you very much for joining us and we, we know what, how busy your time is sharing the gospel with people. What have you liked best about your mission so far? What I've liked best about my mission so far, um, the opportunity to really to come out here and to uh, serve God with all my heart, mind, and mind and strength. And it's been a, a blessing to me and not just only to me, to those around me and especially my family back home. Hmm. Bear in mind that uh, some of your family and friends may share this with relatives and other friends and so on. So some of these questions will be oriented toward what you might want to say to them on various topics. In this case, are there some challenges or obstacles you've met in your time in the mission field where the way you overcame them might be of benefit to our listeners? Yes, I've definitely had some uh, trials on the mission. And the best way I could uh, say to all that go on missions or even in their day-to-day -day lives is to be optimistic. I mean, being optimistic and looking on the right side of uh, life is so much better than um, and looking on the downside of it because the more we focus on the bad the things the more bad things we get and if we change our focus to good things then more good things come and because of that I was able to you know overcome my trials and I definitely felt the light of Christ uh, in me to be more optimistic and more happy and more outgoing. Hmm, that's great. Uh, you and your companion are together 24-7, basically. Um, what's the best part about having a companion? Someone that you can talk to and make jokes about and just, you know, there's always someone there for you because uh, even back to the other question, that was uh, another helpful thing with me and my companions. Uh, able to uh, help me out and that's what I love about my companions. Hmm. Is there anything you'd like to say to your special parents? Uh, Mom, Dad, um, you've probably heard me say this a lot and I keep on saying it even out here I, uh, to everyone that I meet and I have the opportunity to even talk about you guys and what I like about you two is that you didn't give up on me and you showed unconditional love. And um, I'm grateful for that. I will never forget that. So thank you for, for giving me this opportunity to serve this mission and to fully realize the importance of family. You are now serving in the Santa Juanita Ward of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh, before coming here, you've served in some other wards. What have you especially liked about the wards where you've served? What I liked about the wards that I've served in, um, they're all very kind, and a lot of them have their own variety, their own backstory, their own, their own way of life, and a lot of them I've uh, learned from, and uh, because of that, it, it also changes you know a person because you'd be surprised how one person's story can help another person's life. As you take what they've said to you and you apply it and it, it changes you. And that's what I've liked about uh, being in different wards and my mission is having that variety of information to not only you know sh be shared with me, but even the other people saying, hey, another person went through this trial and look how they got out of it. And it's, it's a real bless blessing to meet new people and get their stories. Hmm. Thank you. 
What are you doing that your mom would be proud of? Well, my mom would be proud of. Uh, I'm still being a good old McKay Jensen Wood, which is just being a goofball. And I hope you're proud of that, but I am doing my best to you know, also do dishes and all those other things and making sure I keep my room clean as best I can. <laughs> Indeed, worth being proud about. What new food, place, thing, or activity have you learned to like for the first time in your life? Um, Food-wise, uh, it's probably sushi. I know sushi is a Japanese thing, but to my brother Benson, who may watch this, I have learned to love sushi a lot because California has some good restaurants here, especially in the uh, Folsom area, in the, oh, the Citrus Heights area too, that um, they have a really good sushi restaurant, and I love it. And, um, yeah. Hmm. What's your favorite part of missionary life besides sharing the gospel? My favorite part of uh, missionary life is that all the other missionaries that you're around have the, the same standards and they have the same goal. And it's like that with making new friends. You all have the same standards and the same wants and, and sometimes you may not even have that. And with that, you can learn from another person. And that's what I love so much about this, this, this mission is that I'm learning from other people's stories and what their talents are. And, and that's another thing I like about this mission other than preaching the Gospels is experiencing things. Hmm. Of course, the main purpose of this is spiritual in nature. Um, what can you tell us of your testimony of the sacred book, the Book of Mormon? My testimony of the Book of Mormon is unshaking. I know it to be true with all my heart because I have searched in its words and I've feasted upon it. And I know without a doubt that it was a book that was ordained from God and no other human being could have written that book without the hand of God and when I read it I'm not re just reading the, uh, the words of the prophets I'm reading the Word of God and he speaks to us today and forever hmm you're reading the Word of God and he speaks to us today and forever thanks how do you feel about the prophet Joseph Smith I feel very grateful for President Joseph Smith because without him the church would have never been restored and because of his act of faith he made it possible for all of us to be a part of this church and be a part of this gospel and I hope I can live up to uh, not exactly his standards but to his legacy of being not only a prophet but a wonderful missionary because he wanted all to hear the message that he found. How do you feel about your Savior Jesus Christ? What I feel about my Savior Jesus Christ, um, he is my loving brother. Without him I know I could not be saved from my sins and I've definitely made my fair share and um, because of his everlasting uh, sacrifice, the atonement, he made it possible not only for me, but for all to come back into the presence of God. And, and uh, he's probably the biggest example for me to become like him and to sacrifice more, because he made the greatest sacrifice, and if anything, I would have made the same sacrifice as him if it was possible. Hmm. Is there any other aspect of your testimony? you'd like to share with our viewers? Uh, my testimony? Um, the main aspect of my testimony is unconditional love. As throughout my life I have felt God's love and um, one of the ways I've felt it through is my parents, my mother and my father and I've learned from them how to have unconditional love and from that, I unconditionally love the members and my companions that I'm with and the people that I teach because without that, there's, uh, there's no point in, in doing uh, the thing that I do. And um, 
that's what helps me keep on going is to have unconditional love to all that I need. Well, thank you again, Elder Wood, for joining us in our studio here in lovely Folsom, California. And perhaps we'll be able to interview you another day. Thanks again. Take care.